Here's a midday update for July 6, 2011. Uh, two positions I have right now are Apple, 600 shares, and TNA, uh, 2,000 shares. Apple, I bought at 354 way back in late March. And it hit uh, the 354 level three times and um, failed. So I'm actually tempted to, um, to sell like a point above it. It goes, it would go to 355. I might even sell it. But um, I've held it all the way through through thick and thin. And finally, it's gotten back to where I paid again. And if it goes up, maybe if it goes a point above it, I don't know yet. But um, the market is going straight up. The TNA, I bought at uh, right here, 89. And um, I held it all the way down to 67, and now it's back to, um, no, excuse me, about 84. Averaged about half of it 89, and then half of it 80, 80, 50 for an average of 84.5. So I'm actually uh, up three, almost three points now on the TNA. So I might uh, sell maybe tomorrow, depending on how the market closes. But um, it's, it's going to be hard to sell because. NASDAQ um, just broke above the top of the two today, which was 28.35, and it went to 28.37 approximately. So we broke at the top of the two, and there's a good chance we'd be take out uh, 28.85 and the uh, 52-week high of the, of the NASDAQ. So I might just, just hold on. S&P. It's not, it almost got to 13.45, but um, 13.45... If that breaks, that's the top of the two, and that would um set up a, uh, a break of thirteen seventy to the upside for the Dow. The Dow um took out the top of the two with no problem, and this should I, I'm guessing that we should take out the top. We should take out the fifty two week high pretty soon, probably next week, going into next week, the earnings season, the, the hard earnings season, and um. I'm holding on because these charts are breakouts. NASDAQ clearly a breakout with the top of the two and Dow. Top of the two is taken out too. That's a wrap.